and so that's why we're at the town center sitting there thinking there has to be a better solution than bringing freight through town more freight through town than already exists um, and that the numbers for freight per day are anywhere projected to be um, you know after 10 years of, of the line being open could be up to 50 trains a day um, and one projection said 80 trains a day it depends on which report you read and um, which piece of evidence you go for that's a lot of freight trains that's a lot <laughs> the, 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 the recent document i just, just stumbled upon at the weekend was a capacity uh, document from network rail projections up to 2044 uh, and one of the, it's only two pages which, which pick out East West Rail and, and the specific link from Felixstowe um, saying what the potential benefits are of this particular line and that's where the number 50 trains the capacity of 50 trains per day comes in and that's mostly um, you'd, you'd think it was all the way to Oxford and, and down to the uh, southwest but it's actually to go north so to go to Bletchley and then north um, it's a huge demand. I've, I've found a um, freight analysis which East West Rail have always said there isn't one, there hasn't been one. It's in your document pack. Okay, it's from 2017 and it gives an indicator rather than um, actual hard numbers. It says this is where the demand would be, this is where a percentage of freight would go. It's like 42% of the freight that would go on the north would go to Northampton. You, you just don't think about that. Um, but that needs investment, that that's, uh, needs some line changes, needs extra cords made, which is not within the scope of this project. And my own personal feeling is that this project is to deliver the passenger side, you know, the core infrastructure is there, and then someone later is going to say, we've got a business case, let's get some private investment or government investment. It's probably easy to get private investment when you've got freight involved. And then we can invest in those, those areas that need the, the, the capacity upgrades and let's leverage it. It's probably going to be much more difficult to, to argue against the train uh, when it's already there. Um, and that's, that's, that's where I think that the, our future is not very good in terms of uh, our children and this train.